Hello Nancy, so let's get started with English the American way. Let's listen to this stuff again. Repetition doesn't hurt, so let's go. Health insurance, what's up with that? Although every country tries to find the best way to provide health care for its citizens, it seems there is no one system that is perfect for everyone. In the United States, health insurance is a huge issue. How can we be sure everyone has access to excellent health care? How can we help people pay for doctors and expensive treatments? What will a family do if someone becomes seriously ill and needs hospitalization? Medical care in the United States can be very expensive, and no one wants people to suffer because they can't pay. Most large companies and some small businesses offer health insurance benefits to their employees. This means that they participate in a health insurance plan and cover some of the costs. Other costs for the plan will be deducted from the employee's paycheck. This is usually the best option for employees, but there are many plans and many rules, so it's important to get all the information from the Human Resources Department at your job or from your employer. A very important thing to remember is that if you have health insurance through your job, you usually must see a doctor in the insurance network. Many insurance companies have arrangements with certain doctors to charge only a certain amount for care. In most cases, your insurance will only pay for doctors in the network. If you choose a doctor who is not in the plan, you will have to pay most of the costs for service yourself. Many health insurance plans say that you must choose a primary care physician. This is the doctor that you will see first whenever you have a problem. If the doctor feels that you need more specialized care, the health insurer may require a referral to the specialist. This isn't as complicated as it sounds. Most doctors are very knowledgeable about insurance rules. Doctors often have a staff member whose only job is to deal with the insurance companies. Once you see the doctor, it's possible that she may prescribe a medication for your condition. She will write the name of the medicine and the dose on a special form. Take the prescription to the drugstore. The pharmacist will ask for your insurance card and fill the prescription. He may substitute a generic drug unless your physician specifically requests a name brand. If you have prescription coverage in your health plan, you'll only need to pay a copay. The insurance will pay the rest of the cost. Insurance plans are complicated, but it's worth taking the time to figure them out. Okay, let's listen to the dialogue now, and after we can explain the, the vocabulary. Hi, my name is Leah. I called a little while ago. My neighbor recommended that I come in to see Dr. Patelli. Yes, of course. First, I'll need you to fill out this form with your health history. It's for your chart. While you're doing that, I'll make a copy of your insurance information. Oh, no. I didn't bring any information with me. What do I need? Do I need to call my job? No, it's okay. You don't have to call them now. But didn't you get an insurance card with your group number? Oh, I think I have a little card that has my name and a bunch of numbers on it. Is that what you mean? Exactly. That's all the information I need. We'll process all the insurance claims for you if we have those numbers. Phew. <sighs> I think worrying about this insurance was making me sicker than my illness. Will it take a long time for me to see the doctor? Well, we know patients sometimes have to wait a long time for lots of doctors. Dr. Patelli tries to be respectful of her patients. She won't make you wait unless there's an emergency and she has to squeeze someone in. The nurse will take you in and take your vital signs, and then Dr. Patelli will come in to examine you. After she makes her diagnosis, she'll write a prescription if you need one. But she will always leave time for you to ask questions. She wants you to understand exactly why she thinks a certain medicine will help. I think I like this doctor already. Okay. So now, once you've received your prescription, you can drop it off at the drive through and pick up the medicine later. Yes, many pharmacies have a drive through but you won't be getting a cheeseburger at this drive through so you don't get out of your car. Hundreds of specialists deal with only what kind of problem. Here's a list of some of them. Cardiologist, heart problems, dermatologist, OB, gene, obstetrician, gynecologist, 
pregnancy, childbirth, and women, women's health care issues. Oncologist, orthopedist, pediatrician, I need to drink some water, uh, plastic surgeon or cosmetic surgeon, and psychiatrist. So, to have access, uh, to be able to, to use something, the benefits, chart, condition, co-pays when you pay one percentage and your health insurance will pay the rest. Uh, cover to deal with deducted diagnosis, dose, employee, generic drug. Generic drug is a cheaper drug. Well, you know, there's a big traffic on this. Level. We have a lot of uh, smaller pharmaceutical companies. They make, uh, they try to have the same formula as the big, big uh, pharmaceutical companies. <sighs> In order to be cheaper, they're going to use uh, less ingredients. So, you know, the active ingredient is, uh, is uh, the, the dosage is lower. So, yeah, I don't like that. Well, I don't like drugs and medicines in general, so I really like generic stuff as well. Uh, group number, identification of your company, so the insurance company knows exactly what you pay. Health hist uh, history, the health insurance, hospitalization, human resources department. So when you work for a company, there's always a HR and they are in charge of the salaries, the raise, bonuses, the healthcare, you know, this kind of stuff. To be ill or to be sick, insurance claim, a form that tells the insurance company what your illness is and how much they should pay the doctor for your costs. So, knowledgeable is to know a lot of stuff, a little while, medication, um, or meds, people say that, meds, M-E-D-S, Name, brand, network, pharmacist, uh, to prescribe the prescription, primary care physician, specialized specifically, the staff member, substitute, substitute something with something else. It can be a substitute teacher or a medicine. Uh, treatment, the vital signs, usually your height, weight, blood pressure, heart rate, they are usually checked at each visit. Grammar reminder, the models. Should, must, could. Okay? Uh, should for giving advice, must to show a strong obligation, could for possibility. So English has a lot of health-based sayings, you know, different expressions based on health. Here are some, you know, here are two common ones. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise. A nap on a day keeps the doctor away. We say that in French as well. See, so it lots of apples and gets lots of sleep. Just don't eat the apples while you sleep. To be under the weather, to feel under the weather, you don't feel well. You feel a bit sick. He woke up with a sneeze and felt under the weather. Take a turn for the worse have an illness that gets more serious. Later that day, he took a turn for the worse, so he called the doctor. In bad shape, in very bad health. The doctor said that he was in such bad shape that he should go straight to bed. Clean bill of health, information that one's health is excellent, it's clean. Uh, he took some medicine and got lots of rest. After a few days, the doctor gave him a clean bill of health. In the picture of health, the perfection of health, in excellent health, now he looks well rested and the picture of health. He feels better and he looks better. That is it. You have an excellent Thursday and I'll see you on Friday and see. Please take care, stay safe and rest as much as you can before starting your normal routine in a few weeks. Have a nice night, and I'll talk to you on Friday.